Good morning, thanks for tuning in to another piano tutorial video. Today we're gonna to be looking at Run Rudolph Run. Now this is an easy piano version. I've linked the sheet music in the description below for you. So with this one, um, we do have, so this is, how many pages? Five pages long. And we have a new structure that we're gonna be taking a look at. So we have the coda structure, DSL coda. So when we go through, um, first page looks good. Take note on the top of the second page, we have the sign, which is a little S with a line through it and some dots on the side. So go ahead and circle that in your music. As we keep going, we have another marking on page four. It says two coda. When we get to the end, we have the DSL coda and the coda. Now what happens as we go through this, we're gonna play through page one, page two, page three, page four, page five. We have a DSL coda. We are actually gonna go back to the top of page two where you circled that sign and then go through page two, three, and then four. When we get to the two coda sign, bottom of page four, we are going to go to the last two measures of the piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this through slowly for you, both hands, just to help you kind of get acclimated to the, both the fingerings and then the tempos of this piece. Um, if you do have any questions on it, feel free to comment down below and then please let me know any other pieces you'd be interested in learning. Um, we start out in the C5 finger position in the left hand and we are actually split on the top. So we have um, thumb on E and then fifth finger on C, okay? Let's get started. Top of page two for that sign. Oops, not the camera. Okay, ready and go.
we go to the coda. Okay. And we lift. Awesome. The only funky fingering thing that's not already written in the music, well, it is written in the music, but just to review it, um, at the at measure 40, so I'm on page four, second line. This little part right here. Awesome. So we have uh, one on C, two on E, three on F, and then F sharp with four, and then five on G. Okay. Oops. So you just kind of walk up the keys as you're doing that little chromatic line there. That'll make that easier. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Watch out for your E flats. Those are sprinkled throughout. Otherwise, yeah, you're set to go. Um, happy learning, and I'll see you in the next video.